Hello beautiful people. I'm hoping that you're having a really inspiring day and you're truly inspired today. I just want to pop on and here and just share a little bit. Where does fear come from? I just want you to reflect on that today. Share with you on a personal level on my journey and how I managed fear as an artist. So I want to share it because I think it might be helpful and it definitely will help you because it's definitely helped me. It's so let's start off by saying where does fear come from it has affected me from feeling that i was threatened or i imagined it how can we feel that it's helpful for us fear can come and go but we can have two choices to live in love or fear and just know that fear is there to protect us from harm it's like a safety rope to pull us up above the water before harm is to occur we need to be at a complete harmony for peace in our hearts and our mind, body, and soul. We might imagine a dog to bite us, but there again, that was just the past experience perceiving, perceiving it as the future. We might be afraid of the water that because in the past we might have not been able to swim or until this day we can't swim. As of now, we need to reflect on what we can figure out on our own and try to be at peace within our hearts today. Some of the comforting tools that I've used along the way in my journey is looking towards nature and finding peace and harmony within the weather and the seasons that change. The simplicity of the water moving past as of the water pass, passing us by or the fog that you see in the early morning and just being at peace with just knowing that weather changes, everything changes. And finding comfort in the studio by lighting a candle. If you can just light a candle today and just have protection and love and light and send love and light to your area that you're painting in today, maybe dim the light and set the mood. Just remember that the more calm you are, the more at peace you can be within your heart and calm your nervous system. Some of the actual tools that I've used to surrender to my fear is to sp spend time to send love and light to my body for the parts in my body that are the most tense and anxious. I also light incense and try to connect to my inner senses as in senses of awareness and having peace within my heart by just lighting an incense stick and smelling and having the comfort of that aroma surround me while I'm painting. Some of the things that frustrated me and I don't feel quite right and I don't understand what's going on and I just want to give up and I just feel so scared to even start a painting so one of the tools that I used is to prep the prime the canvas with a color that you choose whatever color that may be. It could be white, it could be gray, it could be any color you wish. Just focus on prepping that canvas before you start the original painting so then it'll help you know that it's not just a blank canvas, it's a colored canvas which will give you a little bit less of the edge on your feelings today. If you're feeling completely stuck and you don't really know what you're doing on your painting and you feel like you just want to give up, another tool I do is I step away from my painting and I turn it from another side and I take a good look. I step back and I take another good look and I see that there could be room for improvement. And every time I turn the painting around to another angle, I see a different perspective. So just know that the way we change our mind and the way we see things is the way we see life. I've got a new collection of ocean paintings on my Instagram and Ocean Cove. Also a sea breeze painting and the rocks on the ocean cove. I really hope that you feel inspired to watch this video and that it's helpful for you to find some ideas to cope and I hope you have a lovely day. I'm wishing you all the best and I'm really excited to share with you the new videos coming soon so stay tuned for that and have a lovely day.